Hello and thank you all for joining me here for another video. Today I thought I would call in my guide, set up a sacred space, and just channel through any messages that would best support you at this time, um, specifically connected to this Virgo full moon. If you felt drawn to this video, then it's definitely for you, and I'd suggest you stay to hear the full message. Without further ado, we'll get right into it. Okay, asking spirit, please let everyone here know what messages are coming through on this full moon. As this energy carries through today, tomorrow, and for the next week, what messages are coming through for the collective and those viewing this video? Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is like a dagger, like maybe an athame, sword of some kind. Hmm, what does that mean? I'm also, I'm seeing the moon and this dagger. Okay, I know it's a full moon, what does that mean? So for some reason, what I'm getting is for some is I was kind of seeing like this dagger cutting through the reflection of a pool with like the moon in it. And what that kind of told me was like cutting through the veil. It felt very much like cutting through like a layer of awareness to find something deeper down underneath the pools of water. Okay, so I feel like the message coming through Okay, 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 I get it. The message coming through is about uncovering these new layers of knowingness of yourself. This is a very internal look within. Um, it's about cutting through your own layers and seeing deep within. Like the moon feels like an eye in this sense. Like it's about looking deep within for some reason. It, um, cutting through, basically like cutting through bullshit to find the deeper meaning underneath for yourself. I'm feeling like it's discernment, but like internal discernment. It's understanding yourself. It's getting to know yourself deeper and it's making like an intentional like cut to do so. Okay, any other messages? Hmm. Okay, yeah, when I first saw the dagger, one that's come through for me, or I should say the anthem. Um, so if I switch through saying athame and anthem just just go with it <laughs> but um when i've seen the anthem before it was shown to me by hecate and it symbolized power like my own internal power um and i'd found it by like going through she asked me to go deep in the waters of my belly and like see what i find in there and i found a dagger and she said it was power so um, not in a negative or 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 positive way it, necessarily just just as that neutral energy, just as magic is neutral, it's it's as good or bad as what you do with it. Same with power. So, so what's the knife cutting through? Okay, yes, this is about cutting through deeper into layers of yourself to find that power, to see where that power resides, to know where that power comes from within you and what it can be best utilized for is kind of what I'm feeling. I don't know what the hell this has to do with Virgo full moon. Forgive me, I'm actually not very astrology. I love astrology, I'm just not super versed in it. So um, I'm just seeing what's being channeled through. Okay, but yeah, wow, it's, <laughs> you guys probably hear the term step into your power a lot. This is less about stepping into it and more like pulling it out from within pulling it out it, okay it's about bringing it out ah confirmation um pulling this frequency out of yourself okay are there any other messages that are related to this inner power or anything else about this full moon or this time uh, other than i'm getting this is really a time for going within opposed to without for some reason it's i, I guess it's less about like external action right now and more about 
your own power, but also emotions. Whenever I see water, it usually means emotions, uh, especially even in dreams, in messages, like deep water is deep emotions. It's a subconscious. So it's like deep inner work. It's like there's something, there's like a gem there, a gem of either of joy or pain. Either way, something you need to find. It will be different for all of you, I assume. Um, but there's something that needs to come out. I'm also feeling a bit like, as much as it's about power, I feel like you're wielding the power to cut something within, really go deep within and pull something out. Um, again, what this will be will probably be different for all of you. However, um, I feel like there might be some wounding or something buried deep within. Um, even if the wounding is just hiding your own power, I feel like the power is you going within. The power is you making that decision and trying to understand yourself, trying to find what is hidden. Um, and it is probably some kind of wounding, but that's okay because this isn't about you being flawed or anything like that, or I'm not even, I don't even think it's like you necessarily have a ton of shadow work to do. Maybe, but um, the message more importantly is this is about healing. Um, you can't really heal if, if there's a bullet still lodged in you. You can carry on. Some people get shot, don't know, carry on their lives. Um, and then, you know, maybe they have headaches or something. They're like, oh, this is awful. I need to do something about this. They get finally get an x-ray. There's a fucking bullet in their brain. <laughs> so, um, which has happened. This is a true story. Um, so, so I'm getting the feeling of like, it, it's time to remove whatever that is. Just with with like just with the action of the athame but the athame is also there as this is not disempowering this is an empowering thing that you are doing for yourself is there any other messages coming through anything that the people watching this video need to know that would help them at this time from now till basically the end of the week Okay, well, I'm seeing working with water, literally, like if you are doing any kind of emotional work, uh, water is really great. Uh, they keep showing me water and I'm feeling witchy vibes. So this also might be a good time to maybe retap into your witchiness or your practice in that sense. I'm getting the, the sense of like using water to do this. Um, but how? how? Water in what way? Okay, I know one way, but I need to discern if that's for me or if that's for everybody. Let's see. Okay, I'm seeing like making moon water um, on this full moon would be great. Um, you can you can just leave like a bowl of water under the moon light, <laughs> and um, you, if you don't want to leave the bowl out there like the entire night, I don't even think you necessarily should do that. I think I did that once and it turned into like gelatin. I don't know how. Um, it shouldn't though. That was weird. I, I don't know what that was about, but um, leave it like even if you can just leave it for an hour, just under the moonlight to sit with the moon and that water. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's actually a couple of things you can do. I don't know how many of you will end up doing this, but I'm seeing going out to the moon with this bowl of water and asking the moon with this bowl of water to show you what is within you that needs to be brought to the surface. You ask the moon with this water and you thank the water and the moon for revealing this truth, which is, this is interesting. Um, and then once you have your moon water, you can do it the next day, it doesn't have to be the same day. Um, I'm seeing there's multiple things you can do with it. Okay, it is, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure a lot of you all are creative because I'm getting, there's a lot of ways you can do this, but as some examples, um, if you want to focus on the specific chakra or just within, go to the heart space and take this water and kind of like literally cut down or, or maybe draw some kind of symbol if you have one that is... I guess, connected to you that you really like about going within. Uh, if not, you really could just, you could make a cross, you could just cut straight down 
with this water, like make a line of water over your heart space, put your hand over it and meditate there. Um, another thing you could do with the water is after asking it to reveal, I know something people do is they take a bit of the water and in like a bit of a plate, freeze it and then the way it freezes like the shape or the cracks it makes will tell you what you need to know so i honestly feel like you might be able to do both with these things um so <laughs> those are two options for you you can also i think you can if you're going to take a bath as like a meditative practice be careful don't fall asleep in the bath please but if you're going to do that meditate with in the water to try and help you connect with that frequency and bring things out. You can mix it with your bath water for that if you want to do more of a ceremony in that sense. So yeah, but honestly, it's get that moon water if you can. <laughs> I think I will be trying to get some moon water tonight or at least tomorrow night. So yeah, uh, I think that might be the messages. I think the rest of this is probably to discover on your own. Uh, I also know that Hecate is telling me to get my anthem at some point, which I'm working on it, girl. Uh, okay, yeah, is there anything else coming through? Okay, this is about hollowing out anything else within um, that may be holding you back or keeping you dense or a, a little too dense for the next phase of your journey. So, slay. Um, <laughs> Okay, yeah, great. Um, I think that's all the messages, really. Okay, I will just gift you a bit of full moon uh, soul language. So just to end this off, let me channel through, see what comes through. Boroa wambuash bu kuhua hose haroqua abua sata Raya yawa ua shua mba a seki bu ua stur kuaka kawa seti Boro oa a ash of sukuro kuakatena Barawa a a su sha a suku rokombo a usea renenia to shurua Ramba ia yoashkua a sea Parawa a yana yana mua mua shiki a ka huase hi oru kua tea. Borowa uambua shiaso sara a yana waku wara kua. Bea ya yoru kua tea na. Thank you so much for joining me here for this video. I hope you guys like it. I hope it connects with you. I hope you guys try and get some moon water. Um, and I hope you have a lovely Friday, a lovely weekend, and I hope this full moon treats you well in whatever way is best for you. So thank you for, bleh, thank you for uh, tuning into my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe do that. Um, and thank you so much for being here on this planet at this time. It's an honor to connect with you, and I hope to see you next week.